look at some possible album art for Green Day's 1972, as well as some possible track lists. <laughs> First up here, we have this one that was an early, early picture that started being circulated around the internet. <clears throat> Do I think that this is the real album cover? No, but it's Billy Joe and Mike Dirt from the late 80s and that's just really incredible to see that stuff um now we have some screen grabs here of of one that i was really excited to see of course it was on april fool's day and uh, just check this out this is over at green day brazil official green day presents american idiot origins okay and look you you know what's coming here we got oh my gosh that is incredible that is incredible parental advisory the best kind of album that you can have. Uh, I, also, I also like this. Uh, look at this. You got 13 songs. It's the second chapter to the 2004 hit. As the name suggests, it will tell the story before American Idiot. Uh, the first single is going to be Judas of the City, um, and it, that will be released on April 31st. And look, these are the songs right here. This is just incredible. Uh, Jimmy's Devil. I didn't request anything. Any Men, Resignation Letter, Shut the Bleep Up When October Comes. Uh, yeah, this is not an April Fool's joke, even though it came out on April's Fool's. Uh, there's the entire thing right there. And then this is one, this is a really, really nice looking one. Um, I've used this extensively in my Green Day 1972 videos, and it's just, it looks really, really nice. Moving on, that's like a Biltmore of, of Green Day right there. Then this, this, oh, I want this record. I don't know who made this one, but this is just gorgeous. I don't know that I would want a real Green Day album to look like this, but that marble, that marble vinyl, oh my lord! All right, I'm, I need to chill out. Okay. All right, what we got next is a very, very interesting piece of stuff that just came out. Uh, what is this? This is April 16th, 2023. We got this, um, we got this, what is supposedly a new track list with 1972, Psycho 17th, which is supposed to be the new, the, the lead single. Then Killjoy Serenade, uh, Train of Thought, Endless Nightmares, River, that's going to be dedicated to Cuomo, of course. And then Dear Fastricker of Young. Ooh, that could be a, is that a, we won't even talk about what that could be a reference to. Say it louder. Uh, Pop J and Pop JJ. Uh, the, at least Pop J is, a, is an artist, a, a musician. And that's kind of interesting. Regretfully yours, I know there's been some talk about it being a Billy Joe uh, a song pinned for these paper bullets. But I always, my mind gravitates towards the Alkaline Trio song. I'm fatally yours. Oh! Green Day Decaying Youth. This one came out, I think, on April 1st for some reason as well. This says out... Uh, 7, 28, 23. So that's pretty interesting. You got post-digital age. Let's go! Let's go! Again, with exclamation point. Uh, Electric Thinking Machines is a pretty good highlight of that record. You got a bonus track in The Lies We Used to Believe because this is not an April Fool's joke. Yo! Yeah! This is another one that kind of circulated early on in the 1972 mythos. Uh, the Parental Advisory sticker, the Crimp Shines, the Lookouts, the Jughead's Revenge, and a lot of bad words. A lot of bad words. So uh, Mike Dirt looks like he's, uh, they're all in like bathing suits, right? That's like a swimming sweater that Billy Joe has on. Correct? Correct. This one, I don't have much to say about because this is, you know, catch up uh, on foam bat levels of bad, and you know what? I always I'm a defender of the trilogy and foam, and all late era Green Day, and I think if foam had a different cover and a different title, and a few songs are traded out, like get rid of Fire Ready Aim and get rid of um, Stab You in the Heart, I think uh, I think that foam is just a magical magical. 
uh, magnum opus. Right, right. Yeah. So this is I I, I like getting uh, I like getting tongue from a unicorn, and this one's really good. Uh, this would be incredible as well. You can imagine, um, you know, if foam was like an interpolization of American Idiot. You can imagine this being an interpolization of 21st century breakdown. I once was off and never was a unicorn. Okay, we've got more unicorn coming out of the blown out speakers that was Revolution 1972. That's what this is. Uh, I really like Pukey. Pukey is great. Pukey, my friend, I love you. Now we go back to these throwback pictures, and this one's got the entire band, so it's a little bit more special than the the Billy and the Mike Durnt one, right? This and this one has the Frank Edwin Edwin guy in it, and it's really cool. He's got some sweaty green boxers on, and that's just incredible. I got to check out this uh, this T-shirt that Billy Joe Armstrong's wearing uh, back before he was Jilly Bo Leg Week. All right, and then oh my God, what is that? This video. Oh, so like, uh, I'm looking a little too young and healthy. Okay, sorry. Oh. Okay, so up next we have uh, this is this is just honestly this is one I kind of threw together, not um, not the final product, but this is my idea of what 1972 is going to look like. I. I have I have a bit of a secret, okay? It's going to be a blue background. I guarantee it. I think that this is what it's going to look like. If there's any major differences, I believe it's going to be in the um, the font of the fonts are going to be changed. But I think that this is what the album is going to look like. With you know, if maybe somebody that made a little bit more money than me were to put it together, right? Like I used freaking paint. All right, I am not Da Vinci. I mean, uh, I'm not uh, Da Vinci didn't paint stuff. I am not a painter. I am a painter, but moving on. Okay, this is like a, a redo of the Nimrod album cover. Uh, oh my gosh! Yeah, there's like a, there's two different versions here. Okay, so you got this one. Uh, 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 and then I, uh, this video is not devolving into insanity, guys. Uh, this is, these are legitimate. Uh, look at this. Look, there are there are Mike Durnt puppets. There's there's a lot of Jason White. There's some arrows. There's Billy Joe laughing. There's black lines. Black lines are are definitely important. <clears throat> and then this one, I know it says songs for you. And then, oh my gosh, Jason, what the magnum opus, Green Day foam, and <laughs> oh, holy, what, what? I actually like this. This next one, I love this color scheme. Like I said, we're definitely going to be getting some blue colors, some teal colors in the uh, in the artwork, in the the text and the fonts and things like that. And then we've got, uh, I'm not sure what this reference is, Always Bobby <laughs> Nirvana 2022. Uh, we did not get an album in 2022 from Green Day, sadly, sadly. And then this, I'm not sure, this is going to alternate, but oh my gosh, Green Day Decapitation. Look at this. What in the, what is this? Anyway, um... Yeah, these are just some of the album covers and track lists that could potentially be coming from Green Day in the next uh, in the next um, eight months. We will be getting a Green Day album. It will be one of these uh, weirdo uh, kind of arts on the front. It will have song titles. It will have artwork, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to have uh, uh, music in it. So this is going to be. A really exciting time to be a 1972 Green Day fan. So you pl please, please, please listen to Green Day a lot.